Rebel Canners teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially those old ways. Please like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. You'll need one cup of cranberries for each jar. I'm putting some cherry, leftover cherry juice and some of mine for added flavor. Before starting, be sure to sanitize your jars. For each quart jar, add one cup cranberries. For each quart jar, add one half cup sugar, less if you like it a little tart. You can see to four of these jars, I added a quarter cup of red cherry juice. This recipe is so easy to do. It's perfect for beginners. You just add your ingredients one at a time to each of the jars. So easy. Then fill each jar to the top with hot water. I use boiling. I prepared it before I started filling the jars. As you can see, I ran out of hot water and I had to uh, heat up some more. Just keep working in stages. Wipe your rims and then add your lids and rings just to finger tight. The cherry cranberry juice looks so beautiful in the jars already. And again, just waiting for the water to boil so I can fill up some more jars. And again, we're just filling right up to the uh, one inch headspace. Mm -hmm. 
the cranberries will float that's okay and just be sure to debubble because they hold a lot of air around them The best part about making juices this way is that the sugar will dissolve on its own. Sometimes if you use a little bit more like I do, you will get a ring of sugar in the bottom of the jars that you can just stir in um, when you're done and you open the juice. But otherwise, it's perfect. You don't have to make a simple syrup and pour it in and get a pan all sticky. It's all contained. Oh, these cranberries just look so beautiful, like little red gems in the jar. Trying to get some of that air from between the cranberries out of the jar. Once you have your jars all done, put them in a 15 minute boiling water bath. Now is the hard part, waiting four to six weeks for the jars of cranberry juice to be ready. Here you can see the difference between the ones I added the cherry juice to and the plain cranberry, which will take four to six weeks before they're ready to drink and actually look like cranberry juice. Then you just strain the berries off and mix the sugar back in if it hasn't mixed in well. And you have cranberry juice, so easy. What a great recipe. Mm -hmm. 